third wave picks up on second wave's focus on consciousness raising. So I didn't talk about that enough in the video on second wave. Consciousness raising is equal access to information about all of these different ideas, all of these different spheres, all of these different ways of knowing. So how do we give practice spaces to all genders? And how do we give practice spaces to people from various classes? And how do we provide equality for that? So then third wave feminism says, okay, now that we have that, I should be able to make whatever choices I want to. Okay, so I, as a professor, should be able to wear a frilly dress and it's okay. That's what third wave feminism is getting at. I know I said that in a super girly voice, but it's it's something that feminists today have to have to deal with and have to talk about what is a feminist supposed to look like and what is a feminist supposed to care about and what is a feminist supposed to understand and how does the fight over that term and how does the control over that term give various groups power? That was talked about at the very beginning of the chapter and it's a very, because we're somewhere towards the end of third wave, maybe into a post third wave, that's really the heart of current feminism and contemporary feminism. How do we define feminism? And then where does power operate within that? Because there are absolutely, in my opinion, waves of feminism right now that are racist. How do we not do that and how do we disempower some, but then in disempowering some, are you really following the principles of feminism, which then leaves you as a critic open to critique because you're not valuing all opinions anymore. You've just said that one is better than the other, which is a more masculine patriarchal way of thinking. And so now we're back into where do we invite people into understanding and invite people into learning. But even then it seems like there's an end goal and an end means. So what we should notice about third wave feminism is it's very circuitous. The arguments both advance and then also have to account for and explain the advancement that they're making because the advancement appears to then let other pieces behind. And so what does that look like and how does that operate? And that's where third wave feminism is very complicated and so open to critique but also still looking for equality for all, especially in relation to gender and especially in contemporary society, not just a binary gender, but a more fluid understanding of gender to ensure that everyone has access to the things that they need, the ways of knowing that are powerful and meaningful within the situations that they want exposure to and that they want to join. And then how do we make all of that happen?